Hi friends, are you ready to learn about convex and concave lenses in a simple and practical way with real lenses and real rays? Look what I have here. I recently bought this light and optics kit from Amazon. This is not a sponsored video. I bought the kit myself. So let's take a look at what's inside this kit. Wow, it has so many lenses for us to try. And there's a ray box that gives a parallel beam of light. I'm excited to try this out with you. Are you guys ready? Let's start. As you know, there are two types of spherical lenses. Convex lens and concave lens. Let's see how these lenses differ and what they do with light. We are going to start with the convex lens. Can you see what it does? It is converging the parallel beam of light to a point. This point is called the focus. The convex lens is a converging lens. A convex lens is thick in the center and thin at the edges. If you move the lens, again you can see that the convex lens is converging the light rays to a point. Now if I replace the thick convex lens with a thin convex lens, can you see the difference here? The focus is further away from the lens. The focal length is the distance from the optical center of the lens to the focus. The focal length is larger for the thin lens and smaller for the thick lens. Why? Because a thicker lens has more converging power than a thinner lens. Now let's try the concave lens. As you can see here, it is spreading, diverging the parallel beam of light. The diverging rays don't meet. You need to trace them back and then they will meet at a point. So the focus of the concave lens is on the left hand side and it is virtual. The concave lens is a diverging lens. It is thin at the center and thick at the edges. Now if I replace it with a thicker concave lens, can you see the rays get diverged even more? Again the focal length is going to be smaller for the thicker lens as it has higher diverging power. If you move the lens, you can see that the concave lens always diverges the light rays. Let's try something interesting now. First, I'll place a concave lens here. As expected, it is diverging the light. Now, if I add a convex lens here, wow, look what happened. The convex lens cancelled the effect of the concave lens and the rays of light come out almost parallel. The convex lens is a converging lens. And the concave lens is a diverging lens. So they are cancelling the effect of each other. The combination is behaving like a rectangular glass block. Isn't that amazing? In our experiments, the parallel beam of light was parallel to the principal axis of the lens. Now what will happen if the parallel beam is incident obliquely, that is at an angle to the principal axis? Let's go ahead and find out. If you move the parallel beam of light, you will get an oblique parallel beam, like this. Again, the convex lens converges the beam of light to a point. But as you can see here, this time the point is not the focus on the principal axis. It lies outside the principal axis on a focal plane that passes through the focus. Similarly, if you throw an oblique parallel beam on the concave lens, you will see that the rays diverge in such a way that when you trace them back, they will meet at a point that lies on the focal plane. But the point will be outside the principal axis, but lying on a plane that passes through the focus. Next, let's try out this lens. Do you know what is this lens called? It is called a plano convex lens. Since it is plane, flat on one side and convex on the other side. As you can see, it is converging the light rays. So a plano convex lens has a converging action like a convex lens because half side of it is convex in nature. Now let's try a plano concave lens. It is plane on one side and concave on the other side. As we expect, it is diverging the light rays just like a concave lens. Now if I add a plano convex lens to this plano concave lens, what will happen? Again we are seeing the light rays emerge parallel as the plano convex and plano concave lens are cancelling the effect of each other and the combination is behaving like a 
rectangular glass block. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video where we tried out these experiments with the convex and concave lens and hope these experiments will help you remember these concepts better. So do remember to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button right now and click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos. And do check out our website manochaacademy.com. We have full courses for you on science, maths, coding and artificial intelligence. Links are given below. We also have our Android app, Manucha Academy. So do check these out. Links are given below for you. So stay connected with Manucha Academy and just keep learning.